Wie zo? I'm, uh, I'm fishing down there. I'm going to be feeding down yeah, there. I'm, I'm aren't, you, aren't you fishing? I am, but I'll, I'm, I'm not going to fish anywhere around here, mate. Yeah, I'll get completely out of road. So that rain stays on. Yeah. I've just been watching forecast. It's a bit of, it's a bit, of a bit everywhere, really. Yeah. No, weather we've had, we can't complain, I suppose. Yeah, I'm going to tell you fast, isn't it? That's a pull, don't they, on here? Big fish that. Yeah, nice start, isn't it? It's the only feeder to use on commercials. You know, method feeder kind absolutely, of thing. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. You just know everything's intact when you're chucking yeah. it out, you know what I mean? You're not sat wondering, are you? No. You just you know that it's giving you a perfect bait presentation. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give you some updates to try if you pleasure fishing. You what, mate? I'll give you some updates to try if you pleasure fishing. Yeah, I'm, what I'm gonna do. I was, I was going to go because it was absolutely hammering it down, but. Jesus. I've done that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of an awkward cast, that, isn't it? Yeah, all, all I've ever done is just literally like you're doing this, that's all I've ever fished me a speeder. It's the most enjoyable way. I, I've just been yesterday and bought a pole in a box, and that's what I've come for today, straight in again. You'll get them all day, honestly, don't be doing that. If you can cast like that every time and your precision is good. It's not going to happen every time, that though, is it? <laughs> but if you can get up to that, like, like, if, if you can get up to where you've just had it, honestly, You'll, you'll get a, my, my mates, my mates didn't like you, it bang on with gas.
Yeah, if you like the method feed, I'll give you some updates to try it. So they're all they use them. Oh, Washed as uh, dynamite. All right. It's the only update to put on. Is it? One of them in Eella, they catch on every single venue. <laughs> you know, it's nice to have a update that you know, you know gonna do works everything. wherever you go. You're not thinking what you know, what shall I put on? Do you just, just um, hook them on or do you ban them on? Uh, I spike them. Oh, you can ban them? Yeah. But I like to spike them because I just think they sit better on the... They present better. Yeah, hopefully. Can't see it happening all day, like, but you, you never know. know. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty, it's pretty, if you can get them going in here, you'd, at some point you'd take a mud after from getting that many. <laughs> <laughs> what, to have a cup of tea? You just sit down and you take, take it out, yeah. Yeah, uh, tea break. Yeah. I've seen a few people um, have rubbed rip, rip, rip round and ripped it, ripped in it from here and doing that. A bit awkward that one. That again. And get under. Come on.
Going back to good old days when you were a kid, looking for them and finding them, trying to catch them. <laughs> I'm going to get down the edge in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> No, it's the uh, Spire. All right. The mate's got one of them um, X stages one of these. Yeah, they're nice poles. He will. He's been. He, he was hunting forever to get some top kits. He brought one of his top kits and he went <laughs> on to the spare. Yeah, they're strong. Yeah. So, Tyrone Farm, this is a new experience for me, never seen the venue before and I've heard lots of it over the years, uh, just never made the time really to go, so I was looking forward to it, a new venture, new venue, uh, Flump, uh, Gary Holland from uh, Barnsley uh, invited me to go um, and gave me a good rundown on what to, how to fish it really, but you know, a lot of this is often the case. You go to a new venue, you just try and use your own watercraft from your um, venues that you fish on a regular basis. And a lot of it becomes kind of like common practice that even if you go to a venue that you've never fished before, there's a lot in common with that venue that might be with the venue that you fish on a regular basis, whether it's regarding the depth or the size of the fish that you're targeting or the base that you're using, or the timings and swim management. So, it, it, do you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of, um, you know, let's say you're down at uh, Belinji or somewhere like that, where you're targeting bigger fish, you're using bigger baits, uh, the, the bites are more rewarding because they're of a bigger stamp, so that means you can quickly get away if you kind of like get on the right method at the right time in the match. So I started on the method feeder, uh, up to the island and it was quite a shallow bar and it kind of like didn't feel right because it had been raining a lot a lot of cold water gone in the lake and it almost seemed as if the fish didn't want to feed in that particular depth which was quite shallow against the island on the peg I was I drew an M peg really good peg apparently and I could see why I just had so much space um, and I had three carp on the method feeder and then uh, after an hour it died and I swapped to pinging hard pellets at uh, like 14 and 16 metres. Now the reason was that when I was on the feeder and I had three carp early, um, 
I was getting the odd indication tell me that the fish were in the deeper water, but the problem with a shelf that is that shallow, even if you're chucking away from the cover, sometimes you spook the fish, and I felt that this was the case with the feed, although I had a few chucks in the deeper water short of the shelf. I didn't catch on that line, um, and that's what made me think I need to be in the deeper water. So that, that's why I swapped to the pole, and it worked straight away, just pinging very small amounts of pellets. As soon as I opened my feed, it killed my peg, and I had to end up moving further at an angle and then further out at 16 metres to carry on catching. Uh, and I soon realised that it was like little and often. And that worked really well. And finally, when the sun got back on the island with about an hour to go, I had a good run of fish again because it's shallow water. The sun's shining back on it now because it's quite tree-lined where I was. And then, although it took a while, I knew it would happen sooner or later. I've been feeding uh, green swim stim marine halibut down the edge um, and looking for fish because it was really shallow again, maybe 12 inches, 18 inches down the edge. Um, and they arrived with, let's say, 20 minutes ago, and I got four carp from down the margins uh, in that last 20... No, three carp. I got three carp, sorry, down the edge in the last 20 minutes. Um, and uh, I ended up with £177, pound, £73, and won the match. So happy days. Never fished the venue before. And just had a really enjoyable afternoon's fishing. Loved it. Uh, and definitely going to go back there for a, a few more visits this year, without doubt.